Today I'm going to make some meatballs. It's for my son, so he he has it for his lunch. He's uh, yeah, he goes to school, he's, he's studying, and uh, wants to avoid bread as much as possible. So it's good to have some some protein, good healthy protein, uh, to have with some vegetables. And it's very easy with the neat meatballs for a, a lunch. Just have it with some vegetables and fruit or something. So what we're going to do is use this beautiful grass-fed uh, veal. And it's about a kilo and a half, I think. Maybe a little, maybe a little bit less. I'm going to have three eggs, three small onions. And I'm, instead of flour, I use flaxseed. About three tablespoons, I think. We're going to put some curry in there which is just really to enhance the taste. It's also good for the digestion. Cayenne pepper is really wonderful stuff. Very healing food. And we'll fry them in coconut oil. So I might also add a vegetable, maybe some tomatoes. So let's go. So also I add, I add uh, vinegar. So this is, I think, a really easy way to do this. Uh, so you don't have to do so much chopping. So up here in our wonder machine here. Oops. We'll put these eggs. And the tomatoes can go in. And I mean, you can put any vegetable. And also, if when you've made them, made the the mixture, and maybe it's too salty or something, you can always add some vegetables. Maybe a grated squash or grated carrots. But of course, you don't want too much water in there because when they fry the moisture can sort of just run out of them. They say onion is a very, very powerful gut healing food and apparently it's actually right here under the peel that these very, very healing substances are. I will try not to peel too much off. make the onions wet I found out some years ago makes the peeling much easier and also about the onions apparently it's the red onions that are the most healing and I put tomatoes in there uh, it gives it a, a bit of extra sweetness and sourness. Meatballs are a very Danish thing. But they were made, I mean they've been made for a long time. People have been using flour to make them stick well. But we don't use flour. Thank you very much. <laughs> we don't want any flour here. There we are. And we'll put in our flax seeds, about three tablespoons. I think this is fine. And start the machine. Oops. some very coarse salt here and I think about about this much we can always add more 
but it's a pity to add too much. Maybe a little bit more. You can also get the pepper in there. Now while this is sitting there, the flax seeds are getting a little bit soft and they'll be easier to... We want them chopped up so they're not whole. Pepper is really good stuff too, freshly ground pepper. We don't, I mean, maybe a teaspoon. And then the cayenne pepper. Maybe about three quarters of a teaspoon, depending on how strong you want them. So let's get the golden. Check if these flex, flex, flex seeds are mashed up. Oh, they're still whole. And a little bit more. With the immersion blender, it, they they are actually chopped finer, quicker. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much because you just want the slime. You want this uh, the effect from the the flax seed that that makes it sort of bind. I'm going to use this now because I'm going to stir in the meat. And just on slow, of course. <laughs> it's cheating. Now I add my vinegar. <clears throat> this is my homemade vinegar. It really adds a beautiful taste. I think maybe about that much. Quite a lot really. It just is very lovely. Put the last bit of meat in. Let's see how the machine copes. Take a little bit out because it's a little bit full. But I mean, it's nearly done. That's mixing. 
mixing nicely. Put the last bit in there. You can sort of see down the side there where it's all well mixed. We're going to make a little test first, but we'll, we'll, um, I think we're just going to let this sit in the bowl here. And I can always add some more salt and pepper, but we want to sort of the, the taste to sort of really go into the mixture. So just let it sit. You can let it sit overnight in the fridge if you like. And it keeps well because because you've got the herbs in, or the, the spices in there, the onions, the vinegar, the pepper. The, it uh, all is preserving, preserving the meat. And you can add thyme. You can add so many things to this. Garlic. But we don't want them too strong because last time I made some, I put garlic in there, which was very fresh raw garlic and he ha has a, lives in a very small flat with his girlfriend and the whole flat smelled of, <laughs> of meatballs so we won't do that again so here we have our mixture and then I'll leave it for an hour or so and then we're going to fry them now here is our beautiful cast iron pan and I just saw <coughs> It's a bit, a bit disgusting, but I just realised that a lot of fat f from the meat is sitting on this thing. And I mean, why not use that for frying? Because this is the tallow, and this is really the best thing you can use for frying. And also, it's just very, very nutritious. And you can use it again and again. As Natasha Campbell McBride says, her grandmother never used to wash her frying pan. <laughs> just uh, kept using the same fat. Look at all this beautiful fat. I mean, why wash it down the sink so we have to rinse it out of the sink? <laughs> Sitting in all the pipes. May as well use it. Beautiful grass fed tallow. Here we go. And there's some water in there, so it's gonna it's gonna spray a bit, but it'll be okay, I think. Just see what happens. It's nice to experiment. And I just lo love using what we have from the land. Every time you don't have to, there's something you don't have to buy, it's just a good feeling. Look how red it is. That must be from the tomatoes. And let's add some coconut also. Because, I mean, we, we need a fair bit of fat on here to make them nice. And we're going to start off just making one because I want to just check the taste but it's nice the more fat the better the more good fats the better because it's just very very good for us to eat fat now we've been told for so many years not to touch fat and now everybody's really sick <laughs> and now <laughs> we're realizing oops that was not the right way to go human beings have been eating fat for, ever since the beginning of time so let's start eating some fat again I 
Okay. Let's just make one. Just a, just a tiny little one, just to check the taste. This is not really the best because it's not it's not really attaching well to the. This is not gas. This is electricity, and it's not really attaching very well. So it's a bit of a waste. There's much more heat there. I think I'll put much more oil on because it's a little bit deep frying. Because then, then there will be the same heat will be all over the place. I think that will make a better result. You can sort of see the pan bent in the middle. So I can do, if I can just have a layer all over. And also, I think the whole thing is crooked, actually. <coughs> the whole thing is, is actually falling to one side. So it's really, really professional. Okay. Let's just have a taste of this one. This one. That was very nice. So let's just, uh, I think I need to turn this down and let's put some on. It's a bit hot. It's a bit hot from the, um, the, the cayenne pepper. So what you can do is just dip your spoon over here and I think I'll just make them flat so they, they're a bit quick. It's easier just with the hands, really. Very lovely taste. Very delicious. I just have to watch the heat. Uh, I don't want to... You want a fair bit of heat, but not, not too much. The consistency is really nice. We want them brown.
And I mean, I'm, I'm just going to put them back in the freezer and he, my son can have them. And if you just you bang the bag and they will sit loosely in the bag and he can, you can just take what you need from the bag. And uh, so, I mean, there'll be food here for many lunches for a long time. And I mean, the whole thing of freezing, of course, it's, it's best to always have completely fresh food, but I mean, compared to eating uh, some some grain, <laughs> this is a this is hundred times better, for sure. There's no doubt in my mind. Because all that grain we've been putting into our bodies is just being really hard on us. So I've turned down too far here. Need some more heat. That's where, I mean, gas is so much better because you get the reaction quicker. See, I've, I've turned it down too much. So maybe, have it there. And I mean, a little bit goes a long way. You don't have to eat huge amounts. You just need some protein. And in nearly all gut healing uh, protocols, you use protein because you, you just need this. Most people need this protein. And you can have... I mean, they say to actually eat the protein first is the easiest to digest because it sits in the stomach, uh, actually in layers, the food. Apparently there was a, a, there was a soldier once who was injured and you could look into his stomach content and then they found out that the food is not mixed in the stomach at all. It, lay, it lies there in layers. So apparently if you have the protein in the stomach first, all the enzymes that you need for, for the protein digestion, they will be there, and then you have the vegetables afterwards. Apparently the digestion is, is much better. So but it's just a matter of trying it and just see how you feel. I mean, the whole thing of listening to your body, always listen to your body because your body never lies. And if you feel good having some food, it's because your body's telling you. Very nice. Very, very nice. A bit too white, that one. And I think, I mean, it's actually good not to have to have too many on there because then you, you boil them more. They're not fried so well. I'll pour some of this juice off because they, they get to, they get to, to boil too much. I just do that. Because you don't want to boil them. I made some in the... I actually grilled some. Uh, and that worked quite well. Because you save this cooking. You just have to keep the oven open a little bit because otherwise you just get so much damp in there. Probably put a bit too many on here. I think this one's done. Fun, fun. 
little one to her. Could be more brown. So now I'm doing the second lot and I can see that uh, you don't have too many on there. It seems like it, it, they hold uh, the liquid better. Instead of the, they don't boil or steam because they, they have air around them. It seems uh, better that way. Not not fill too many on there. Just give them some space. That's better. So you have oil here instead of all that liquid. Because you don't want to, you really don't want to steam them. And you want to keep as much liquid in there so they're very juicy. And also the temperature is important because if it's too low, uh, you get this, the juice runs off. So you want a fair bit of heat. I it's actually a little bit too, I need more heat. I'm just making a big loaf in the oven. I do that often. It's much easier, really, and it's very delicious. Just make a big loaf with it and put bacon, strips of bacon, very thin bacon, all over the top. And it's just so delicious. And just so easy. One more minute, I think. So, <clears throat> here they are. And I still have more, so I think I'm going to, I'm actually going to make a loaf with the last bit of it. So they are smelling and looking, I think, very delicious. And I think my son, he's going to be very grateful. And if you like, now this pan is off, but uh, pour some water on and, and boil it up and you've got some beautiful gravy because there's lots of minerals on here and lots of good fats. You can just, as I've shown you before, just pour some water on, just let it boil up and you've got this beautiful gravy. So there we go. Meatballs. See you, my friend.